What's up, guys? This is Brett Weiber again. Uh, coming back today with another video. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, the deck created by uh, Sam Black, John Finkel, Patrick Chapin, Matt Sperling, that group of guys that went to the Pro Tour, uh, Jerry Thompson and all of them. Um, they basically remade Delver, made it Esper, Splash for Lingering Souls. Um, and they got rid of Geist, played Drog Skull Captain, and the new Dungeon Geist. Um, it's kind of like a new take on the Delver. It's um, not as fast, but I think it's much stronger in the mirror uh, compared to old Delver. And uh, it's also, I believe, personally better against more variety decks. So uh, let's get started. So here's the deck at a glance. I uh, counted the lands already for you guys, so I don't have to look like an idiot. There are 22, and we will start with uh, four Dark Slick Shores. Um, obviously, we're splashing for black. This is our only access to black besides uh, the two Evolving Wilds to get our one Swamp. Unless we naturally draw it, of course. Uh, we have four Seacrum Coast, four Glacial, or I'm sorry, three Glacial Fortress, and two Moreland Haunt. Uh, we have the two evolving wilds, like I said, to search for either the plains or the swamp, but most of the time we'll get the swamp. We have five regular islands, one plains, and one swamp. So as I said, that's a total of 22. Move up to the uh, spells. We got four Jaxian probes, four vapor snags. Um, their list at the Pro Tour only ran two mana leaks in the main. Mines are in four just because uh, that's my preference, and it's a mana leak, and I love leaking mana, if you know what I mean. Uh, four Ponder, four Lingering Souls, which is basically the new splash in the deck. Uh, four 1-1 one -one Spirits for five mana is pretty damn good, and uh, obviously they agree. Uh, one di Divine Offering. I think they also ran in a Revoke Existence in the main, but my list didn't have room for it because I needed to make room for uh, Mana Leak. If I believe uh, right... There was two mana leaks, one gut shot, and one revoke existence, and I cut the revoke existence and the gut shot for four mana leaks. Move up to the creatures. Uh, we still have four snapcasters. Uh, here's basically the new package along with the re edition from old Delver of three phantasmal image. So we got the two dungeon guys, great new card. Uh, the captains, which are good in the mirror and pump our spirits like crazy. And then the uh, phantasmal image for the. Uh, turn five play of captain image copy captain and basically just blow their face up with spirit tokens and then of course we have the namesake of the deck Delver so uh, we'll move to the sideboard here my sideboard is uh, not completely different but pretty different from what they were running so I'm not gonna really uh, get into why I'm running these it's it's a metagame choice of where you play and what you play against uh, I mean, my, my store personally runs a couple of zombie decks, so I'm running more than one Celestial Purge in the sideboard and things like that. So we have uh, one Oblivion Rain, one uh, Flash Freeze, two Dungeon, two more Dungeon Geists, uh, a Steel Sabotage, a Dissipate, uh, a Revoke, two Revoke Existences, uh, two Celestial Purges, two Timely Reinforcements, and three Gut Shots. So uh, there's the deck. As I said, it was created by uh, Sam Black, Pat Chapin, and John Finkel, that team that went to the Pro Tour. Um, I believe they put two of their men into the top eight, as well as uh, Channel Fireball putting two of their men in the top eight with Wolf Run. So the decks were pretty equal, I think. But uh, I've been playtesting, and it seems like Delver has a pretty big edge against Wolf Run. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good day.